Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, last night I was just uh, enjoying a lot of different videos from y'all. Well, actually, several from Grafted In and a couple from some others. And I wanted to share with you this one in particular. And I hope that you would consider checking them out because they have a a chat room that's open all the time if I'm not mistaken or it every day somebody's in there for those of you who like it like when I went live when I would go live I have a hard time keeping up and I don't have help like she's got her husband Dan and she might be doing a teaching and then he's over here on his computer reading your comments and um, then he may throw something at her from the questions and then she'll discuss it and answer it and it's it's just really um, something that I believe a lot of you could really get a lot out of I know a lot of you are like me probably most of you are alone and tonight I'm just really feeling it that I don't have someone that I can just call up and really I wanted someone here that I could just go see in person and discuss things with you know but they don't see things in our perspective and how we see them and even everyday stuff I had to go talk to the housekeeping boss and her answer, you know, I got upset and I was crying because of my dog because he's getting so weak and I'm afraid there's something really bad wrong with him. Hey bud, did that gummy help you? He's eating gummy hemp. Yeah, hemp in a gummy. I gave him an extra 100 milligrams or whatever it is. There's 333 milligrams in one gummy. And I gave him a head, <laughs> a head, a third of it at 2 o'clock. And he just couldn't wait to get home and get in his bed. He didn't even want treats from people. And now he's sitting up. <laughs> so it helps him. But he, I gave him that extra when we got home. He needs more now. But it's helping him. And that makes me happy. Anyway, I wanted you to let you hear Kathy, her husband Stan, from Grafted In. And let you just hear for a minute, a couple, a couple minutes. I got it timed exactly how long I wanted it. Her title of this video is, Don't Be Alone Now, Guys. The Loser Enemy is Seeking Whom He May Devour. She calls him the loser. Yeah, <laughs> he is all right, too. Anybody that'd be high up in heaven, the worship leader, and leave God, that's a loser and a half a million times over. Anyway, listen to this. Uh, Kathy here. Um, so this is going to be just a short little bit, little kind of blurb about a couple of things. Um, you know, uh, in the past few months, God has really made me continue to repeat and make it clear that we need to have balance between the written word, the rhema word, and fellowship with the body of Christ. Um... It's happening a lot that there is a spirit of pride and stubbornness in many of God's kids out there who think they got all the answers. They think they know, they got the answers, they don't need any help, they don't need the body of Christ because they're good. They're good. They got it, they, uh, they can go talk to God themselves and they'll have any answers that they need. They don't need the body. But see, the body of Christ, remember, the body of Christ 
is the God, the extension of God. When, you know, when we're t when I'm talking to you, look at me. I'm using my hands. I'm using my. I'm blinking my eyes. I'm using my mouth. I'm using my lips. I. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm using all of the parts of my body in order to communicate with you. God's people are actually the body of Jesus Christ. We are His body. How can you fully have Jesus if you don't have His body? You have to be part of the body of Christ without pride, without arrogance, without stubbornness. You've got to humbly submit to Jesus through the body of Christ, which is his own body. Okay. Okay, that's two minutes into it. It's just a 14 minute, 35 second video, this one. But another one I listened to, they did a great teaching on the word, God's word of truth on once saved, always saved. Only it's titled OSAS. That was an hour and six minutes, but that was an excellent teaching on that. And, um, Anyway, the point is, I know that it gets discouraging when you listen to people, especially when it comes to uh, those that are looking at dates. And they're leading you to believe, oh, it could be this particular time or this particular time, or no, that didn't happen, so it's got to be. And then it's right down the road, and, and that's, you know, part of watching. And you get discouraged. So you go searching for some other kind of channel. And the next thing you know, you're following somebody that's giving stuff that's so way off. We have to be careful about that. We don't need uh gnosis g-n-o-s-i-s -S, or knowledge x what do you call it extra biblical knowledge now if you're a scholar you have a scholarly brain and you know how to take that in and separate it from the word of god and realize this is just history uh it may or may not even be true uh, all of it. Uh, usually there's elements of truth in history. Our own history books that our kids at school learn, even in college, are not correct. So how can you know that if something on YouTube is something historical, it's going to be true? Hopefully, I actually believe that a lot of what we get on, on YouTube channels, if it's a good source, is most likely way more true, if not all the way true, than something you find in a, a school library or something that's being taught to your child at school. I'm telling you, they just got a history book so wrong. They don't want kids to learn the absolute truth about how America was started. And Yeah, I told somebody yesterday, I've been... Um, going to see this lady on the second floor every day now for a while a few weeks a couple of weeks and uh, I was telling her how our votes just don't count like we think they do and how the Illuminati runs the country and uh, this country was started by them and not the way we think it was and for the reasons we think it was and that it was they started it in 1776, and she was just like, well, I sure do hate to hear that, but she's real open-minded to hearing it. She doesn't act like, oh, well, that's just, that's how, what I usually get. That's just a bunch of, I, I can't believe that. That's what I usually get. So I don't talk to anybody about that stuff. But I could sense that this woman was just a little different you know, because of things she was telling me from what she gathered off the news. So, it's, you know, somebody I can talk to 
to some degrees about some things and maybe the Lord will lead me into well, I believe we've talked about the rapture and stuff but the point is it's better than you know I wish it was one of you but I've told people I don't do phone ministry if I gave my phone number out and I was on the phone on one of the nights when I feel led to do a teaching and then I have comments and then I have emails and I've got several videos lined up waiting to be watched it and I'm on the phone just first one and another I, I just can't do it besides talking on the phone doesn't for more than say 10 minutes and how can you do any kind of counseling in 10 minutes you know what I mean or teaching I just have to tell everybody to write it in an email and then I catch the emails as best I can and at least then if it's something I don't really know or exactly how to put it I can pray about it that's another reason my brain can't always think real fast to, to tell you okay well here's what you need to do because I might not no, right off. I might have to think about it for a minute. So I'm really sorry that I don't give my phone number out. Um, that really bothers some people. I don't know why they can't understand that I don't have a secretary. It, it's not like when you belong to a church and you really need to see the pastor. You don't get to talk to him usually unless it's a small church. You might can I could never just call and talk to a pastor. You have to make an appointment and wait and then go see him. And you, you know, maybe you might even get an hour. That, you know, that'd be great. But you have that, you have an appointment. You have to keep it. Anyway, I, I know it sounds like I'm rambling, but I just, I wanted to just bring, drive home the point that we need each other. And even if it's just a, a, a sentence to me and a sentence back to you, I want to encourage you all, those of you who are lonely and wish you had more, to start reading the comments and try to, you know, get in on, get a conversation going with somebody or to somebody, depending on how much time you want to spend doing that. Now, it doesn't take that much time to read some comments and say, oh, I think I can answer to this one. And leave them a message and see if they'll write you back. And um, But I bet you, if you like doing the chat to uh, actually converse with people, at least a little bit, I mean, it's hard for one person to type back as because the columns you know they move kind of fast so but you got other people in there reading your comment as you type it and they'll type something back to you so that's really good that would be really good for some of you so that's one of the things I wanted to just point out that this is a great channel. I don't agree 100% with everything they say. Like they think the earth is not flat. Well, I do. But it's not a salvation issue. It's not a big deal. I think it was Dan that had a dream or vision. He was brought up above the earth. And he saw it as a sphere. So they're convinced the earth is round. A sphere. Spinning in space. I just can't believe that anymore, but that's nothing to, for me to not have anything to do with them about. That's so irrelevant at this point. God will let us know when we get to heaven where we were wrong. We'll find out quick enough. It's not something to argue about. Anyway, I... I know I'm not my normal self tonight. I haven't been being. I just hadn't felt good, y'all. I'm down about my dog, and I could use your prayers. Anyway, I'm going to let you go with that. 
I thank each and every one of you for always leaving good, encouraging comments that lifts me up and helps me. And I don't ever want to let anybody down, but you know, it's just little old me and I'm human. <laughs> and aren't we all? <laughs> so it gets hard. Things are hard right now. I may be going through something. I don't know if it's an attack or just uh, physical things because of doing extra work with my dog having to lift him a lot and the cold the cold really affects me you know I'm sure all of you are having way colder from well I can't say all of you I don't know how it's affecting the rest of the world but I know we're having abnormally record-breaking cold spells here in America record-breaking and it's never been 17 degrees in the morning here in Alabama in November maybe end of January 1st of February we might get that but it's just wearing two layers of clothes and I'm bundled up like some kind of abominable snowman. <laughs> it's how I feel. I'm, I got stuff all over, you know, hat and scarf and gloves, two shirts and a coat, two pair of pants, thick socks, which, oh my goodness, I ordered some new knees, not knee highs, but they're men's thermal. I found men's socks cheaper than women's. <laughs> <laughs> they're supposed to be like up to your calf and I figured men are taller as a rule so maybe these are longer I needed socks that could tuck the one pair of pants in so when I pulled the other pair of pants on <laughs> then the pair of pants I had underneath wouldn't slide up you know if any of you live in cold weather you know what I'm talking about anyway they should have been here today I'll get them probably tomorrow so I'm going to let you go with that funny story. Oh, I hate that. It wears me out. All that dressing and undressing three times a day. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not complaining. I think maybe we're going home soon. I got my eyes on a day. <laughs> I'm going to say nothing. A lot of y'all probably already know it. I just want to go home. I know you do too. Let's just all stay ready. Stay in repentance. Kathy was talking about that on uh, one of the videos I watched. It'd be staying ready. When you mess up, repent right then. <laughs> That's how I am. If I realize I've messed up, I repent right then. I don't even want to wait till bedtime i just want to keep my garments clean stay in holiness as much as possible i want to read the word more and my brain is just like i'm in a fog almost i'm almost like in a daze half the time and i don't know why i don't i really don't know why But I talk to the Lord and pray in the Spirit. And that I can do. So I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you. And over all your devices and my computer and all the internet connections so we can stay connected. And do check out that channel. I'm going to link. The video don't be alone now guys the loser enemy is seeking whom he may devour and um, maybe one other video that would be good for you 
It's an older one, not real old, but just not of this week. And um, I pray you'll I, I make sure that their link to their chat room is in the description box. And for anybody that wants it, that cannot see it because they're on a smartphone only, I'll put it in a comment if you ask me to, if I forget, okay? Because I do forget. All right, with that I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.